Welcome back all to the next video of second module of PGTP. Here we'll be discussing the inductance of double circuit transmission lines. That two three phase system. So again we are having three phase system with two conductors per phase. Now double circuit three phase lines as two parallel conductors as you all know for each phase. And the use of two line three phase conductors on the same tower it will lead to greater reliability and a higher transmission capacity. If the two circuits are widely separated then the mutual inductance between the circuits can be neglected and the net inductance will be half of the inductance of individual circuit. But in actual practice the separation cannot be very wide and therefore the mutual inductance is not negligible. So it is desirable to have a configuration in which it results in minimum inductance. For that Geometric mean radius, sorry, geometric mean distance should be low and geometric mean radius is high. That is R dash should be high and the numerator of log should be low. Therefore, for that what we do is the individual conductors of a phase should be widely separated and the distance between the phases should be kept low. Distance between the phases, that means the numerator part, D should be kept a minimum and R dash should be maximum. Therefore, uh, the next figure shows such a configuration. That is, the figure shows three sections of a double circuit three phase line with vertical spacing over a transposition cycle. Now, we have two conductors per phase. Therefore, phase A will have conductor A and A dash. Phase B will con have conductors B and B dash. And phase C will have conductors C and C dash. So, these are the conductors. Now, our aim is to space or to place uh, the conductors within a phase at maximum distance and the distance between the conduct between phases should be minimum. So, it is placed like this A, B, C. So, it has a minimum distance and like A and B and B and C will be having A to B and B to C will be having same distance but the distance between A and C will be 2D that we cannot place it like this. It is like that. Now, A dash, the distance between A and A dash is uh, configured in such a way that it has maximum distance N. B dash is placed here. Distance between B and B dash is H. And C dash is placed here. So, the distance between C and C dash is again N. Distance between A and B dash is kept as M. So, this is the first uh, position and now since they are unsymmetrically spaced, this distance between the faces are different, we have to transpose the positions of the three conductors at regular intervals. So, in the next interval, this is the condition. So, now conductor A has occupied the position of conductor B, B has occupied the position of conductor C and C has occupied the position of conductor A. So, A B, C will be like this. Now, A dash was at this position. It has occupied the position of B dash. B dash has occupied the position of C dash. C dash has occupied the position of A dash. Then the third case, A comes here. Then B and C. Now, A dash will be at here. This will be B dash and this is C dash. So, what I can say is, this A, B, C configuration will be coming down and A dash B dash configuration will be going up going up that means uh, A dash is at this point I think I have made a mistake A dash is at this point B dash is here and C dash is here so this goes up and A B C comes down whereas the position distance between the positions is same throughout now the GMR of conductor of phase A in section 1 is Geometric mean distance. So, DSA is fourth root of DA into DA A dash into DA dash A into DA dash A dash. DA A is the self GMR that is R and DA dash A dash is also the self GMR that is R dash. Then distance between A and A dash is N. Between A dash and A dash is also N. So, we are getting it as fourth root of R dash into N into N into R dash. That will give you square root of R dash into N. We are having four terms inside the root. So, it is fourth root. Now, 
distance GMR of conductor of phase B in section 1. Again, fourth root of dBB into dB B dash into dB dash B into dB dash B dash. Again, you have to substitute the value fourth root of dBB is R. dB B dash is also R. Distance between B and B dash is H. So, fourth root of R dash into H into H into R dash that will give you root of R dash H. Now, GMR of C, again it is fourth root of DCC, DCC dash, DC dash C, DC dash C dash. Now, DCC and DC dash C dash is R dash. Between C and C dash, your distance was N. From the first figure. This is C dash, the upper, this is C dash. So, between C and C dash, it is N. So, it is again fourth root of R dash into N into N into R dash, which will give you R dash into N. Therefore, equivalent GMR is DS, which is equal to cube root of DSA into DSB into DSC. So, we are having three terms inside the root, so it is cube root. So, on substitution and reduction, what we get is R dash raised to 1 by 2 into N raised to 1 by 3 into H raised to 1 by 6. So, this is our denominator part. Now, we have to find out the numerator, that is GMD. D equivalent that is cube root of DAB into DBC into DCA. DAB is the GMD between A and B in section 1. So that is between fourth root of DAB into DAB dash into DA dash B into DA dash B dash. Now from the figure we can find it out as fourth root of DM M into D that is square root of DM. Then we have DBC which is the GMD between B and C in section 1. So that is also we will get it as root of dm. Then dca is the gmd between c and a. We will get it as root of 2dh. Because the distance between c and a is 2d. Then you find out the d equivalent that is cube root of dab into DC, bc into dca. Then on substitution and reduction you are getting it as 2 raised to 1 by 6 into d raised to 1 by 2 into m raised to 1 by 3 into h raised to 1 by 6. Therefore, the inductance per phase per meter is L is equal to 200 and raised to minus 7 L and D equivalent by DS. You can substitute this. Again, on further simplification, we will be get we will get it as 200 and raised to minus 7 log 2 raised to 1 by 6 into D by R dash into 1 by 2 into M by N raised to 1 by 3. So much Henry per phase per meter. So this is the inductance of double circuit transmission lines. Now, when you do the numericals related to this, either we can substitute the formula if the arrangement is, is exactly like what we have discussed now. Otherwise, you will have to uh, analyze it and write the equation as per the question. That's all for the, today's session. Thank you.